let's go down there. bottles right over here. This one's one of my favorites here. Tumbleweed, ow! Yikes! The strongest tumbleweed I've ever been hit with. Wow. Front tires are a little low. Ooh. Maybe the front pressure in my force is low. What is this feeling I'm feeling? Ah! Woo! Rocks! Rocks! More rocks! Oh, my tire's going flat. What? What? No. no. That's how I clear out goat heads while I'm on the move. All right, here at my little jump. Let's we'll see how it acts with a slightly low tire. Oh, so weird. Oh, dude, this thing's folding so bad. <sighs> dude, I don't even have a pump. Oh, maybe I'll go down the stair steeper. Mm. Woo! Watch your pedal. Yeah. Do a U-turn here. Yeah. No dabs, okay. And then go down the steep shit. Oh. Definitely don't feel like I'm in as much control right now with that low pressure in the tire. What are we staring at, guys? Oh, it's the last remaining puddle. Nice. Oh my gosh, what a beautiful day. Yet again. Dude. I wish there was an air pump at the top of this. That would be so killer. Thank you. So this one's pretty steep and fun, but... I'm not sure how my front tire is going to like the uh, the terrain. It's already pretty soft in here. So, there's that. Yeah, it seems to be handling it just fine. Nope, it does not like a flat tire. Ooh, uh, so harder to get back on a bike on a steep. There we go. Knock the dust off my helmet here in a second. Oh, thanks, dude. I'm good. I'm turning. I'm turning. I'm turning. Don't worry. Thank you. Sorry. All right. Yeah, man, I need to, I need to pressure up, dude. Rear's fine. This front is 
just so soft dude i don't know if that's why i crashed because to be honest just soft sand and yeah right on yeah this guy's pumped yeah right on i'm bringing the stoke to the bluffs guys kind of miss the days where people were carrying uh bicycle pumps you know instead of co2 right because it's like a tangible like good <laughs> you know like oh hey man i need some air in my tire you know oh i got co2 and then i'm like oh wait don't blow your co2 canister on my tire i feel bad you know but if they've got a pump i just like borrow their pump it, and then they get it back and there's no no loss you know <laughs> it's kind of a different way of feeling about it but that's kind of how i feel about it anyhow yeah i think my playtime might be over kind of losing the uh confidence with the tire being so flat there's not a gas station anywhere nearby anymore i'm like covered in dirt one side here so fun yeah right on like a, a video like on geographic dude right cool dude thanks so much man you're in great shape too. Th thanks I, i'm 46 now and uh i feel good man i feel good wow you're in great shape what? make sure as there so people can watch it i'm like i'm gonna like, i'm gonna record right now man we'll get some footage coming back down you have like a dot com or anything uh scott tillery on youtube scott tillery t-i-l-l-e-r-y tillery yeah have a great one man so this is River Boulevard, quick drop. Oh man. This one's pretty fun, but um, has a lot of exposure and all these squirrels keep getting fed right here. So they tear up all the uh, edge. But then again, so do I technically. Ugh. Man, the wind's actually blowing me over a little bit. Okay, whatever, let's do it. God, the overall feel of the tire when it's flat gives you this rebounding and wiggly effect so i have to dismount right here because if you look it's uh kind of a well there's just not there's not a lot you could do this though i mean but the exposure afterwards if you like mess up here over here then over here i mean that's like a 20 foot ledge maybe 30 yeah probably 30. so you got to be careful there you can also take take it to the right and go down that uh section over there into the ravine there's a couple ways to go down that one that was a uh, river boulevard quick drop. They used to take this this path all the time. Got vertigo really bad right here one time. Set me off into a bad bad deal, but there's a rut that needs to get repaired right here. You can stay to the left of it on this one, but when you cross over right here, it's super gnar. And then the same thing over there, so I'll come out here, usually with a heavy like concrete breaker, and I'll break in the uh, the edges. Uh, but that doesn't really help it long term because then the next time you get heavy rain, the same thing happens. So maybe building, I don't know, some gutters so it can shoot the water off that way a little bit or something might help out. But I mean, these things are. 
you know, not up to my elbow, but they're deep enough that they catch the tire pretty good. So, that looks like it was kind of shooting off there for a second. But that doesn't help once you get down there, then it just doubles up the water right there, I guess. So, but I like this, I like this little section here. Um, like I said, it's really technical, hard to do, but fun. I'm not doing it today and I got no tools and everything's super dry. So I'll be going back. I'm going to shop for pumps at Grizzly Cycles this morning. It'll be fun. <laughs> 